Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called Alexander and the Wind Up Mouse. This is a Caldecott Award winner. That means the pictures in this book were so good that they decided to give it an award. I'm the reading teacher and I'm glad you're joining me today. Don't forget readers, before you even open up the story, you should be thinking in your brain things like, is this a fiction or a nonfiction story? What do you think this story will be about? Who do you think the main characters will be? Let's open it up and start reading. Today's story, Alexander and the Wind Up Mouse by Leo Leone. By the way, he drew the pictures and wrote the words for this book. Alexander and the Wind Up Mouse. Help, help, a mouse. There was a scream, there in a crash. Cups, saucers, and spoons were flying in all directions. Alexander ran for his hole as fast as his little legs would carry him. And there he goes, and he does look a little frightened. All Alexander wanted was a few crumbs, and yet every time they saw him, they would scream for help or chase him with a broom. Who do you think they is in the story? Do you think they could be the humans? One day, when it was when no one was in the house, Alexander heard a squeak in Annie's room. He sneaked in, and what did he see? Another mouse, but not an ordinary mouse like himself. Instead of legs, it had two little wheels, and on its back there was a key. Who are you? asked Alexander. I am Willie, the wind-up mouse, Annie's favorite toy. They wind me to make me run around in circles. They cuddle me, and at night I sleep on a soft white pillow between the doll and a woolly teddy bear. Everyone loves me. They don't care much for me, said Alexander sadly, but he was happy to have found a friend. Let's go to the kitchen and look for crumbs, he said. Oh, I can't, said Willie. I can only move when they wind me, but I don't mind. Everybody loves me. Alexander, too, came to love Willie. He went to visit him whenever he could. He told him of his adventures with brooms, flying saucers, and mouse traps. Willie talked about the penguin, the woolly bear, and mostly about Annie. The two friends spent many happy hours together. But when he was alone in the dark of his hideout, Alexander thought of Willie with envy. Boys and girls, envy means to be jealous. What do you think Alexander would be jealous of Willie about? Do you think he may be jealous that Willie gets to sleep in a soft, warm bed every night and snuggles his human friend? Do you think that he's jealous that he, everyone loves Willie? Not many people love Alexander. Remember, they chase him out of rooms with their brooms. Ah, he sighed. Why can't I be a wind-up mouse like Willie and be cuddled and loved? And look at the way Leo Leone makes his eyes. You can see how sad Alexander is. One day, Willie told a strange story. I've heard, he said, that in the garden at the end of the pebble path, close to the blackberry bush, there lives a magic lizard who can change one animal into another. Do you mean, said Alexander, that he could change me into a wind-up mouse like you? Do you think Alexander has an idea? How many of you are thinking that Alexander's gonna go try to find this magic lizard and he's gonna ask this lizard to change him into a wind-up mouse, just like Willie? That very afternoon, Alexander went into the garden and ran to the end of the path. Lizard, lizard, he whispered. And suddenly, there stood before him, full of the colors of flowers and butterflies, a large lizard. Is it true that you could change me into a wind-up mouse? Asked Alexander in a quivering voice. Why would he have a quivering voice? Do you think he's a little nervous? Maybe a little frightened of this magical lizard? When the moon is round, said the lizard, Bring me a purple pebble. Hmm. 
That's mysterious. For days and days, Alexander searched the garden for a purple pebble. In vain. That means he didn't find one. He found yellow pebbles and blue pebbles and green pebbles, but not one tiny purple pebble. At last, tired and hungry, he returned to the house. In a corner of the pantry, he saw a box full of old toys and there, between blocks and broken dolls, was Willie. What happened? said Alexander, surprised. Willie told him a sad story. It had been Annie's birthday. There had been a party and everyone had brought a gift. The next day, Willie sighed, many of the old toys were dumped in this box. We will all be thrown away. Alexander was almost in tears. Poor, poor Willie, he thought. But then suddenly, something caught his eye. Could it be? Yes, it was. It was a little purple pebble. Do you see it? It's right at the bottom of the box. What do you think Alexander is going to do with this purple pebble? Do you think he still wants to be turned into Willie the wind-up mouse? Hmm, let's find out. All excited, he ran to the garden, the precious pebble tight in his arms. There was a full moon. Out of breath, Alexander stopped near the blackberry bush. Lizard, lizard in the bush, he called quickly. The leaves rustled and there stood the lizard. The moon is round, the pebble found, said the lizard. Who or what do you wish to be? I want to be, Alexander stopped. Then suddenly he said, Lizard, lizard, could you change Willie into a mouse like me? The lizard blinked. There was a blinding light. And then all was quiet. The purple pebble was gone. The end. Wasn't that a great story? Wait, you don't think that's the end? We didn't solve the problem? You're right. I thought I could trick you, but I guess not. Let's find out what happens. Alexander ran back to the house as fast as he could. Don't forget, he's wanting to see if Willie has changed into a mouse like himself. The box was there, but alas, it was empty. Too late, he thought, and with a heavy heart, he went to his hole in the baseboard. Remember, Willie told him that this box was all going to be thrown away. Alexander was too late. He couldn't save his friend. <gasps> Something squeaked. Cautiously, that means carefully, Alexander moved closer to the hole. There was a mouse inside. All right, now before I tell you who the mouse is inside his hole. How many of you are thinking that it's Willie? Who are you? said Alexander, a little frightened. My name is Willie, said the mouse. Willie, cried Alexander. The lizard, the lizard did it. He hugged Willie and they ran to the garden path and there they danced until dawn. That is one of my favorite stories. Such a good story about friendship and giving up something that you wanted in order to help a friend. I hope you enjoyed the story today, friends. Don't forget, when you read, you think. And I'll see you back tomorrow for another story.